what's going on everyone it's greg and i made a pretty big stride in watcher of realms i finally beat gear raid to 19 this is my first stage 19 um that i've beaten i'm still i'm on gear raid 1-18 i'm on gear raid 3 17 um honestly gear raid 3 eh, i'll probably eventually be able to get there but i don't really have any of the good really good uh, range units uh i'm working on my mall a little bit try to help on one side but the other side is still a bit overwhelming so i'm gonna see what i can do there uh, we'll keep trying to progress and then artifact raid i just broke through 17 uh, so 18 is my last stride there um i think now i'm gonna focus on obtaining some gear sets from um gear raid 2 so that i can uh, power up my team a little bit better hopefully get some ancients my very first piece of ancient was excellent um i'll just stick it up here on the screen uh, you can see here it was uh attack bonus with some crazy with, with all great substats and they all rolled pretty decently um so i was definitely happy about that um so we're hoping to pick up some more sets here now i'm gonna do this a little bit differently because i already got my guide out for gear raid 2 so i just want to kind of talk about my thought process things that happened what did i go through to get to finally beating 19 and i'm gonna go ahead and tell you i spent quite a few hours over the course of a few days to really lock in what I needed to do now stage 19 first and foremost you have to think about your survivability I did the cheese stuff I have decimus in here I was I did this thing where I DPS these two early mobs um, and then despawned and then put everyone in after that is one tactic but I finally was like you know what forget that what can I do to survive how do I survive okay so I went ahead um, a soul day Everyone's getting a soul day. Now, that being said, mine is almost awakening five at this point. So she is pretty, pretty beefy. She's six star. Everyone in here is six star. Keep that in mind. Six star fully promoted. Um, I do have Baron. Baron, definitely a great addition with his immunity. Um, I pop their shields pretty much as, as they come up um, every time. So I don't really do any timing there. Now, two key things for this stage. You either need Sadie. Or you need some kind of shielding to be able to get through the shriek otherwise you're gonna have to do a lot of cheesing you're gonna have to get Volca to awakening one and um, reduce the cooldowns on your units um, you have to do a lot of cheesy stuff if you don't have a way to either reduce damage or um, absorb that damage when he does the shriek because the shriek will one shot your heroes now another thing you have to be careful if you use Regulus I tried using Regulus on the left here um, and just to give a hint of my next step, which was to protect uh, my DPS, I tried to use regulars there, shield up, but his shield also uh, distributes um, uh, the damage dealt. So he's taking additional damage, so the Shriek was still one-shotting him. Um, so that didn't work out. So finally I ended up with a Soldier on the left, Baron on the right, two, you know, two purple heroes, not bad. Now, the two that are probably more unattainable or, or just less attainable, even though, I mean, they're standard legendaries in the rates, is Sadie and Elowen. I think they're really key here. I think Elowen could be, you know, a different healer. Um, I don't have Vortex. Um, almost over a thousand pools, I have not got Vortex yet. Um, I probably would have used Vortex here. Um, he's a great healer and his range is just amazing. It would have helped me with my Vierna over here on the left. So I had to deal with the challenge of keeping Vierna alive. Keeping a DPS alive was the next challenge. So, you know, real quick before I touch on that, is there anything else we need to touch on here? Yeah, so I got my, my tanks alive. I got my Sadie in the middle because um, she has like a plus sign. I'll show the range here. Sadie has this um, this range. Elowen, I have facing straight up and down. Madan, straight up and down. So you might be looking at this and be like, well, wait, how are you healing your DPS? We'll get into that in a second. So, the first task, surviving. So I got my tanks surviving. I got uh, my healers there, healing. Okay, so now my issue is I get overwhelmed by the mobs, of course, because I'm not really focused on DPS. I start with just cycling DPS, um, you know, doing little oddball things. I try using just fighter heroes and putting Sadie up here where Elowen is and keep them alive on the edges. 
I tried all kinds of things. I faced my heels, healers all kinds of ways. The thing is, I kept losing healers here and there uh, because they were, uh, when faced sideways, if um, they wouldn't necessarily heal each other. So anyway, my, my strategy ended up being this. This keeps my core five uh, alive and healed as long as I can DPS. So that was the next thing. How do I get enough DPS on here? The problem is, you know, originally I was trying to put uh, my DPS up in this spot, like my previous stages, um, that, so they can hit both sides. That really wasn't working out. Comet doesn't necessarily have the range of Vierna. So I really wanted to see how can I get Vierna out here? How can I get Vierna out here and get her to survive? Because if she can survive, her DPS is great. She can do the, her ultimate wipe the waves, and that will ultimately help me cross the finish line, as you can see in these, as this battle keeps repeating. And so that was the goal. Now, I didn't want to buff her HP. I didn't want to do any of that. So how can I do this without, you know, too much effort? So I had tried Regulus because he has that shield, but he was dying to the streak. So then Azolde. The only problem with Azolde is her timings. You can't really time it that great. Um, so I didn't bother with the timings. I was just trying to get any extra oomph I could get in the team so then I'm like well how do I keep her alive so I'm like okay I have Elowen she has that little extra heal thing that you can put out and I'm like that's just gonna have to be my reliable heal I'm gonna have to save that for um for the earthquake and put it out there to keep uh Vierna alive at this point I can keep everyone alive with Sadie through the shriek it's not a big deal I can then fire off the AoE heals now I have noticed that um I think Elowen's heal when she does her ultimate actually spreads out a little bit, so that helps. I don't know if Madan's does. I haven't really paid attention, but I do know when Elowen's is active, it does reach out a little bit further. Like this healing. Um, well, I don't know if it's done that or if it's just because I put the extra heal out there. Um, but essentially, I drop Elowen's little extra heal unit out here in uh, where these mobs are. So I drop it there. It heals actually all. For uh, all four of these units, which is helpful. I mean, it's helpful just because it, it takes a strain off the heels. Um, so Baron is able to keep himself alive, um, and then Vierna, of course, I was able to keep alive through the waves. So at that point, I'm like, yeah, this is it. So uh, once I was able to keep Vierna alive, um, I really just kind of stuck. You can see I stuck Comet out there. I don't think it was even necessary. Uh, I was just squeezing at that point. I'm so frustrated like okay. How can I beat this? I need to get through this um, I throw out extra units. You can see Salazar comes out at one point Comet comes out um, I just used him for additional DPS just to like because I'm like I'm gonna get these units off the map as quick as possible um, One thing I noticed I know it's been I discussed this in my Raid guide um, the rock throw the rock throws. I haven't quite determined exactly how they hit um, for some reason They seem to focus the healers more um, I know someone commented and said they hit the last deployed unit, but that hasn't really been my experience like right now Vierna and Baron um, are they getting hit? This is what I want to see I, don't, I can't really tell I don't know. I struggle to tell who's getting hit by the rocks, but I think the rocks are uh, AOE as well, so it doesn't really help the situation. Either way, once you have enough heals, it's not a big deal. So again, everyone here is six star, um, and yeah, this is this is it. Um, before beating, when you know, when I beat this, I did not have any of the mythic uh, or ancient sets. None of those set bonuses. Honestly, I don't think I don't think I had any set bonus active for the accessories at all. Um, so this can be done with gear farming up through stage 18 of everything. Personally, I think this is one of the easier ones to do, depending on what units you have. Um, if you maybe pull more legendary marksmen, you're probably better off going for gear rate three. If you pull like Morgan, um, those, you know, some legendary lord that's giving you more dps on your mages you have enough mages for gear one prioritize that go for what's your account you know what's necessary for your account but here um man i just i don't know i, I stay focused i'm like i was honestly getting a little bit discouraged and i can definitely see the difficulty of the free-to-play aspect of this game um i think the skill gap and you know when it comes to like gearing and things like that it, there there is a lot 
to this game and i think that's what makes it great but it also makes it very challenging it's gonna be very challenging for them to retain an audience um uh you know extensive audience if we're talking about like competing like raid shadow legends and things like that i think it has the potential but there's these gaps they need to fill in um especially when it comes to like gold and stuff like that they need to close the gap a bit on um the free to play and the whales just to um you know the there's things are too much there's too much rng dependency uh, especially like gear and stuff like that um so i don't know hopefully they you know it continues to develop and we'll, we'll see some great things i am thoroughly enjoying the game and this was very exciting i mean i felt like a huge accomplishment getting through this um you know i'm i'm not you know free to play completely per se but you know i i'm not putting a whole lot in and um I haven't even, you know, I am a content creator, but I have not started reaping any of those benefits yet. I've uh, not received any diamonds or anything. So, um, you know, hopefully we start getting some of those. I can do some more pools and stuff and uh, keep up hopefully with the new units so I can demonstrate them for you guys. But anyway, this was exciting. I passed gear rate to 19. If you have any questions let me know down in the comments i think i pretty much explained everything i mean sadie's ult if you have sadie you have to time it around halfway through the shriek countdown because it does have an animation you probably go a little bit lower than that but it doesn't really matter that much it just needs it just needs to be active when the shriek goes off so that you don't you you don't take that full damage um other than that your healers you know tweak the gearing do whatever you need to do um gearing tweaks just keen seem to keep progressing um i can tell you that for gear raid one you know I, I started off by killing like no mobs and now gear raid 119 i'm killing up to like 29 30 just need to get my dps up and so i decided hey let me farm this see if we can start getting some actual ancient sets on my right hand side on my um heroes and i think once we start doing that i'll, I'll be able to progress a little bit more and, and we'll keep on trucking otherwise man guys i'm enjoying the game if there's anything you want to see let me know down in the comments um any interactions will help get the videos out there so please uh just just talk to me down in the comments i'll talk back i promise hit that like button if you're not subscribed hit that subscribe button turn those notifications on catch you in the next video